I've been using CGM for a year and wow, it was absolutely mind blowing. And I'm not diabetic, but still, it's so eye opening. Back then, a year ago, oatmeal, this boring, supposedly healthy breakfast food, was kicking my blood sugar into the stratosphere. And it was a clear sign that something has to change if I want to avoid an early grave. So, I am going to rate all the interventions I've tried through this year from the worst to the best. And we'll see <laughs> if that grain of trouble and me can survive together. And hopefully, it will help you to tweak your daily habits and gain some years of life. Deal? And right out of the gate, the most famous blood glucose supplement, apple cider vinegar, did absolutely nothing for me. I've tested and retested because I just didn't want to burst my bubble, <sighs> but it was all within a few points. And the same applied to berberine and allulose. So they all get fairy dust grade. Are they supposed to go back to the supplement school? Well, the thing is, any supplement is just that. A supplement, literally an addition. It's always a side dish and never the main course, which is coming up shortly. And by the way, by just looking at me, you would never guess what was going on in my blood a year ago. But that's what is special about CGM. Unlike usual blood glucose tests you do once a year when you're fasted, CGM measures your blood dynamically under the load. And easy but wrong answer would be to eliminate oats forever from the diet. However, it would be like eliminating running from your life because your leg is currently broken. But you see, it doesn't mean that running is bad. So, if you want to live to be 100 years old or more by design, hopefully that's why you're here, you have to dig deeper. And such bad glucose spike <laughs> could be a result of so many things. Blood sugar is an energetic currency of your body and can be affected not by just what and how much you eat, but also by how much muscle you have, exercise volume, insulin sensitivity, how stressed you are, how good is your sleep. Sleep. Ah, sleep. Sleep is taking the next place. It's crucial for overall physical and mental health and fat loss, and you can very quickly and objectively detect the sleepless night with a glucose monitor. And it can vary the blood sugar plus minus 10 points, just like that. Does it mean that napping is a legit health strategy? Asking for a friend? <laughs> Never mind. Back to the kitchen. Right to the B. And that would be eating proteins with your carbs. They slow down the absorption rate and reduce those spikes by 20 points easily. It requires a little bit of planning, preparation and some snack avoidance, but it's totally worth it. I used to think that oatmeal was the breakfast of the champions, but now I know that it's only a champion that it has a protein as a sidekick. But if you want even better results, you need to plan a walk. A walk. <laughs> because when you're moving, you are utilizing what's called non-insulin glucose uptake. That's what I'm doing right now. I knew that I need to go out for a walk and shoot video about walking, so I ate my lunch and I'm outside. So what you need to do is to think ahead a little bit how you can rearrange your day to have a walk or some active chores right after you eat. Because again, when you move, you're mechanically pushing that blood sugar into your muscles without insulin. And that brings us to muscles. Muscles, they are your sugar banks. Yes. And they are there not to just look good and feel good and move through the universe, but they also sponge all that extra glucose from your blood for later use. And that alone took 40 to 50 points from my spikes easily. And I'm also experimenting with zone 2 exercise. I just got myself a stationary bike and I will update you all when I get enough data. So, where does it all leave me with an oatmeal? Well, with all these tune-ups, I'm happy to report that now I can eat my cake and have it too. And why am I telling you all this? Number one, don't blame the oatmeal. Context and dose makes all the difference. And number two, good blood sugar control is extremely important for your long-term health. As a direct agent, 
caramelizing you from the inside, aging your skin and organs, but also as an aggregate score of your metabolic health and daily habits. And CGM is an absolutely invaluable tool to shape these habits and resist all the junk food we have around. So, check this video next. I also talk about CGM brands, how to get it really cheap and how to properly install your first CGM if, no, when you get one. Living is smart, aging is bad. See you there.